Our objective is to find a solution to this problem. Ashish hash question one asterisk asterisk. Step one asterisk asterisk calculate the present value PV of the withdrawals for the first five years of retirement from sixty one to sixty five years old where Mr Jones plans to withdraw six thousand annually. We use the formula for the present value of an annuity because the withdrawals are equal annual payments. The formula is PV equal to P times 1 minus 1 plus R minus N divided by R. Where P is the payment amount, R is the annual interest rate, and N is the number of periods. For the first five years, P equal to $6,000, R equal to 0.99%, and backslash N equal to 5 backslash. Asterisk asterisk. Step 2, asterisk, asterisk, calculate the present value of the withdrawals for the next 15 years of retirement from 66 to 80 years old when Mr Jones plans to withdraw 10,000 annually. We use the same formula as in step 1 but with P equal to $10,000, R equal to 0.9 and N equal to 15. Asterisk, asterisk. Step 3, asterisk, asterisk, calculate the present value at the beginning of retirement age 60 of the total withdrawals by adding the present values from step 1 and step 2. This gives us the total amount Mr. Jones needs at the beginning of his retirement to cover his planned withdrawals. Asterisk, asterisk. Step 4. Asterisk, asterisk. Calculate the present value today at age 35 of the amount needed at the beginning of retirement to age 60. We use the formula for the present value of a single sum, which is PV equal to FE times 1 plus R minus N, where FE is the future value the total amount needed at age 60 calculated in step 3. R is the annual interest rate, and N is the number of periods 25 years from age 35 to 60. Asterisk, asterisk. Step 5, asterisk, asterisk, subtract the amount Mr. Jones plans to invest at the end of the 40th year 10,000 from the present value calculated in Step 4. This gives us the amount that needs to be covered by equal annual payments over the next 20 years. Asterisk, asterisk. Step 6, asterisk, asterisk, calculate the equal annual payments Mr. Jones needs to invest for the next 20 years to cover the remaining amount. We use the formula for the future value of an annuity we arrange to solve for the payment P, which is P equal to PV times R divided by 1 minus 1 plus R minus N, where PV is the amount calculated in step 5 R is the annual interest rate and N is the number of periods 20 years. Hash, hash, hash question 2, asterisk, asterisk. Step 1. Asterisk, asterisk, calculate the present value of the withdrawals from the 10th to the 15th years where the annual withdrawal amount is RS 50,000. Use the present value of an annuity formula with P equal to RS 50,000, R equal to 0.12 and N equal to 6 since it covers 6 years including the 10th and 15th years. Asterisk, asterisk. Step 2. Asterisk, asterisk, calculate the present value of the withdrawals from the 16th to the 20th years where the annual withdrawal amount is RS 60,000. Use the present value of an annuity formula with P equal to RS 60,000, R equal to 0.12 and N equal to 5. Asterisk, asterisk. Step 3. Asterisk, asterisk, calculate the present value today before the second year of the total withdrawals by adding the present values from Step 1 and Step 2. This gives us the total amount needed today to cover the planned withdrawals. Asterisk, asterisk. Step 4. Asterisk, asterisk. Determine the amounts to be invested from the 2nd to the 5th year X and from the 6th to the 8th year 2X to meet the withdrawal requirement. We use the future value of a series of payments formula rearranged to solve for X, considering the different periods of investment and the total amount needed calculated in Step 3. Asterisk, asterisk. Step 5. Asterisk, asterisk, solve for x using the equation derived in step 4, taking into account the future value of investments made from the 2nd to the 5th year and from the 6th to the 8th year, and ensuring the total future value equals the present value needed for withdrawals calculated in step 3. This step minus by minus step approach will guide you through solving each part of the problem, using financial formulas to calculate present and future values of annuities and single sums, as well as determining the necessary investment amounts.